Catherine Webster is blind, but she gets around just fine with a little help. That's H-E-L-P, as in human echolocation partner. It's definitely giving me more vision than I would have expected with just a small little watch. Using cell phone components and a 3D printer, students at Wake Forest University created a device that mimics how bats hunt for food. Biology professor Bill Connor says bats are a natural model for helping the visually impaired. They can figure out where the obstacles are, they can figure out where food is, uh, they can, and they do all this, of course, in the dark. The device works by emitting sound waves, then calculating how long the echo takes to bounce back. As the wearer approaches an obstacle, a sensor under the wristband vibrates. The closer they get, the faster the vibration, much like Connor's bats. They're really the masters of the nighttime sky, uh, and we, we want to make uh, our, uh, the people who use this uh, masters of their uh, environment as, as well. Webster has been giving the team feedback. They've since adjusted the number of sensors and made the device less clunky. I definitely think any visually impaired person would be able to benefit from it. After three prototypes, they've gotten costs down to about $35 per watch. It's really fulfilling and really exciting to see something that I've had a part in developing have some sort of meaningful impact in somebody's life. He's such a baby. But Webster has no plans to replace her three-year-old guide dog, Enzo. I can't even imagine a day without him. Not be able to give him up, but I would definitely use it as a supplement. Bad inspired technology that could one day be as valued as Enzo. No, come on. Alan Breed, Associated Press, Winston-Salem, North Carolina.